We've got a grass fire uh, seven miles west of Fletcher. So we're pulling in to our biggest field that we're cutting this year. It's about 100 acres of grass. Driving by it, Dad's pretty disappointed, of course, with the hay crop. The last few years, we've had phenomenal hay. That last field that we were in, I think last video, we got a bale and a half to the acre, which some people would definitely take that. I think out in Wyoming, North Dakota, even a lot of parts of South Dakota, that would be awesome if they could get that. Um, it's just, you know, we've been coming off some really nice years and a lot of times we're getting three to four bales an acre on the grass, grows pretty big stuff. But this year it's looking like a lot less than that. Just gonna take over shortly, and then Dad and I are gonna be working on a job that you don't get to do every year. Some wood on there, a couple pallets, million dollar truck just drove by. Something I get. Right in there, that is short stuff, not leaving much of a windrow. You know, it's just kind of a disappointing year until we start getting some rain. Jeff's cows right next door. Fancy black Angus critters out there. So there's two halves to this thing. This side I think used to be alfalfa or something like that. It's got some alfalfa right in through there, mixed in. So we're cutting this side first, see how well that goes today. Just cutting across, Jeff is here, he'll hop in. Show them how to run this auto steer, it's pretty simple. Just gotta basically hit your two and it'll drop you down in and grab that line. I'm pretty dang sure if you're gonna believe this, either last year or the year before, off this 100 or so acres, we got dang near 700 bales. That is a large quantity of hay. But looking at this, is not gonna be the case. We'd be, we'll be lucky to get 300 bales off this, I think. Oh, we'll be lucky to get 200 off here. Oh, badgers. The legend, Uncle Jeff. You gonna fall asleep in here with the auto steer running? I might. Go through the fence, cut the neighbor's corn a little bit. That probably wouldn't be good. I think the ditch might wake you up a little. I would think, I would hope so. <laughs> How many acres is this field? 90. 90? Yeah. How many bales did we get last year? Over 500. Over 500? Yeah. The year before was over 700. That is insane. I am pretty sure we won't get probably half of 500 on this year. Yeah. Down at the other end, either last year or two years ago, we were using half the rake because it was plugging the rake so bad. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. This year we could probably take three or four rows at one time, yeah. still won't plug it. Right. Go do our fun thing at home for the rest of the day. <sighs> Jeff, I can't hardly reach the pedals. Are you seven foot tall? Had some therapy today. That was that was painful, painful stuff. We were doing, uh, what were we doing? We were doing step ups, and it was like a ledge that big, that high. Just, oh, uh, I don't know, it didn't feel good. But we're home now. <laughs> Took some acetaminophen. All right, today we're working here in the bullpen. Last week, Dad finished fertilizing, and he hooked up the box scraper, started tearing away all this wet, soupy manure, and he's already got a couple loads of clay. So he's going to be trucking clay. I'm going to be moving it around today. I want to get that cleaned up a little bit more. Here's one of the tracks from Dad backing up. It's good to see he didn't sink in right away. It's going to get worse as the day goes on. That manure, it's rich and it just holds moisture and it gets soupy and it gets deep, moist. Moist is the word we're looking for. We've been tearing all that away and we're building this back with clay. We're gonna get nice and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Compressed, packed in. We're, getting, we're gonna get it packed in. First I'm gonna grab the skid loader, clean some more of this out. That's some real organic-y manure stuff. Get that ridge off the top. I don't want any manure mixing in with that clay. Spend hours hauling, trucking, 
burning fuel, might as well do it right. Now it's not every year, especially in late June, that you get to do a job like this. The reason why we're able to is because in the last 129 years, this has been the driest June we've had. In 129 years. And so I guess looking at the crops, we're pretty lucky on how good they're doing when it's the driest it's been in this month in 129 years. Yeah, that's, now that's a drought. It's a drought for the century, I guess you could say, because it's over 100 years. It's nuts. You know, you got to take the opportunities as they come. It's dry, so we're getting in these feedlots that are always wet, and we're going to make them a little better. In the wet years, you make hay. In the dry years, you fix feedlots, I guess. And uh, try not to go broke. I would say fix fence, but it gets so dry that it's hard to shove a post in the ground. Oh, yeah. It smells like mouse in here, real bad. Pretty well cleaned up back there. So this concrete, it's about, I think six inches right there. And then we got another about eight inches in this deep part. It's not as deep down there. In fact, it's mostly just the concrete down there, the, the depth of the concrete. But we're gonna need a lot of fill over here. Fun fact, when it comes to soil in a field, the top six inches of an acre is about two million pounds of soil. Right here, we're doing about 12 inches or so. Down there, closer to six. Not near an acre, but we're still going to need thousands and thousands and thousands, maybe just hundreds of thousands of pounds of this clay, which is coming from the South Farm, same place we were grabbing it from last year. So I'm going to spend most of my day moving this around. I got some more stuff to tear out with the box scraper sitting over there. We'll start moving this around so Dad knows where to dump the next load. I do have a tracker on his phone so I can always see where he is. Don't tell him though. It says he's a mile away. He's almost here. Nice start. That stuff is really powdery. Not sure if it's going to pack the best. It'd be nice if there's a tickle of moisture in there. Definitely going to have to need a rain on that. And then just continue to drive on it once we get critters in here and they're walking on it. That's what really gets it nice and packed. Their feet are like pistons. Oh yeah. Yeah. Doing some good today. Ooh, big daddy with the big old load look at that but today right now it's about 75 feels amazing sunny farms in 75 how's that <laughs> Now I'm wishing my skid loader was on the other side of that. Woo! Slappy time. Keep going. We need about four more of them. Four? 40. Okay, I guess I'll get back to it. I just thought I'd say hi to the people, but somebody wants me to get hauling, so I'm going. I brought you McDonald's. I'm glad I ate it already. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not 5'4 um, gonna... and you're 6'10 because this is the way this would feel. Mm. Mm hmm Then I'd be scared again. Scared. Scared. It's kind of dry, ain't it? Yeah, it's powdery. He's gonna be hungry by three. Oh. So this will be your first time seeing the new box scraper in action. Traded in the old one, it was getting wore. It's pretty cheap trade at the same time, so not too big of a deal. It's a 12 footer. It's our old brand was notch. This is MFS. I think that's Myrink Farm Service. It's kind of a I think it's a more local type place Yeah, three more. Last time we were doing this, you told me you brought a you bought a self-propelled swather. Think you can refrain from buying something today? I can try. Yeah. Wouldn't it be more fun if I bought something? Yeah, I would. I'm counting on it. 
after this one, I'll probably eat my McDonald's. I bought a couple McGriddles. Woo-wee! Those are good. Got that sausage, egg, and cheese. A little bit of syrup in the pancake. Oh! I tell you what. Done. Get the front row parking. Ellie, what you thinking? What you thinking? Wanna go in? Wanna go in? Wanna go in? Yep. Listening to the radio in there, they just said they came up with a cure to hiccups. So that's great. I think we need to stick to that. Keep working on the important stuff like like hiccups and like maybe sneezing next. Oh, save some lives that way, huh? Maybe cramps. Work on cramps a little bit later after that. Maybe find a cure for wedgies. The atomic, the atomic kind, of course, duh. Waiting for a trip. Like Dad's pulling out. That's gonna be about load six. Four or five more there. Four over there. It's gonna take all day. It says he'd like to take a break after this load. He's been moving dirt for a few hours. Yeah, so it's gonna take a couple more in there. Looks like you took a chunk off the wood there. Would you would you say you soiled it? No. Soiled it. I didn't do it. Soiled it. Actually, it's more streamlined now. It's uh, aerodynamic. Yeah, something like that. It's way better. You broke off like ten thousand dollars worth of wood right there. Oh. Do a little pressure washing today. Got a couple new things. It's always been hard getting soap in there. The lid for the soap is huge, and then it's just a small little lid into the foamer. Hopefully this bugger works. Woo! That is crazy. Oh, oops. Oh, oh! Filled there a little too much. A little spillage, my bad. Wasn't ready for it. This is my first time. I actually got a message on Facebook a little bit ago about where all our setup comes from. And it's Schuster's out of Fairmont, Minnesota. If I remember, I'll put a link below for you to check them out. Last week, Dad finished top dressing fertilizer. Really could use some rain to get that urea down in the ground, get that nitrogen in the ground so the plants can suck it up. But we should be done with that until this fall. So I'd like to get it cleaned up. That urea is really corrosive already. Right there, we got some rust. Wore the paint off that fertilizer did, and now stuff's starting to rust. So, get that cleaned up. Of course, got to move the tractor and stuff. I was backing up in third gear, and I was like, man, that's slow. And then I put it in four, and I like. 10x in speed, that was nuts. Wasn't anticipating that. Apparently there's a fire. What do I do? That's good. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything. We've got a grass fire uh, seven miles west of Fletcher. West of Fletcher? Yes, we need the Fletcher Fire Department. So that's calling the fire department. I don't know, thinking of bringing the box scraper over there. I don't know what we're gonna do. We can see the fire from here. Field's about six, five, four, three or four miles away. If that whole field burns, we're gonna be in a bad situation. That's most of our hairy crop right over there.
I don't know if I'm helping at all, guys. This isn't fun. Oh, gosh. I need about 3,000 more gallons than this. Oh, that don't smell good. I got a freaking 25 gallon four wheeler tank. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is freaking worthless. I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it, guys. I gotta change my underpants. I can't even control three square feet. The one guy driving a semi and the other holding the hose, that is insane. I ain't never seen anything like this before. I got about five gallons left. I just want you to know there's coal with this 25 gallon sprayer on the east side. And on the other side is an entire spray tank. Yeah, I'm, co oh! I thought I was covering my side, guys, but I am not. You know, there's a saying about a needle in a haystack. There's now one about a four-wheeler sprayer and a field grass fire. Yeah, it's getting away from me. I need a truck over here, Dan. The cavalry is here. Chris Christopher, firefighter of the day. Look at this guy. This is about my size right here, yeah. Take it, take it. It ain't your I, fault, I Dale. Must have, I must have hit a rock. I would assume so. We ain't gotten any rain for never. I think you might, might have to do it early in the morning when it's... Uh, the dewy? Yeah, well, there's the dew that we got. Yeah, that's a good point. It looks worse down the road. Yeah. I actually, for a second there, thought I could do something with this sprayer. Well, doing more than I was. Looks like we got her handled. Could have been worse. Could have been the one. Other big thing, our machine is just fine. Would have been a really sad day if our W260 would have burned up. Pretty small. Yeah. That just shows you how flammable things are right now. I know. We're playing our day. Yeah, if somebody wasn't dragging the fire everywhere with a box scraper, might have been better. I actually put a lot of it out. Yeah? <laughs> he uh, he got the, actually the the worst of it going right away when uh, he went around. Huh. So I really didn't want to go around the smoky side because I didn't know if somebody was going to be there. It was uh, it was starting behind me faster than I was getting it out. That seventy five twenty's done some firefighting this this year. Unfortunately, that smoke looked ten times bigger than what that little patch is. Yeah. Big thank you to the Christophers. Their farm is just down the road. Dad said they were pulling out with their sprayer. They could see the fire. They pulled right back in and then started bringing their semi with their water tank on it. And then the Letcher Fire Department, pretty speedy, but not as fast as the guy on a four-wheeler with a 25-gallon sprayer. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So I had to unhook the hose. 
from the pressure washer. I had to pump a tire. Filled that thing halfway. It still got there in a somewhat timely manner. Gotta love the sound of that foam falling down. Whew, so that was about the longest day I've put in since surgery. Gotta start on this end, take one or two more loads, like one more over there, and then this feedlot should be done. Other than the giant pile, I don't think we've had that big of a pile of manure that we had to clean out of here for a long time. Leave that for another day. Hope you enjoyed watching. Started out a little boring and then all of a sudden it was kind of exciting, huh? At the end of the day, didn't burn too much. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll, we'll see you next time, right? Yeah? Have a good one. Dad, well, let's see what Dad says when we slap it on him. Hey, Dad, the fire department wanted me to give you this. Honorary fire boy. Yeah, for Honorary. all your hard work today. <laughs> I don't think I did much. Congrats, buddy. You earned it. I want to thank all the little people that made this possible and the Letcher Fire Department for actually being the heroes along with my neighbors. Thank you. <laughs>